Uh, hey guys, sorry I haven't been posting in a long time. A lot of things came up, and then sometimes when I could have posted, I felt... I don't know, I didn't... I just didn't post. Uh, after a 20 minute video that didn't go up for some reason, I wasn't in the mood for posting, but now I'm happy to do so. So, let's get to the, you know, what I want to talk about for today. Um... So school, you know, everyone's favorite subject. No, I'm just joking. Uh, MITD, right? It was a new game mode, now it's fairly old. But for those of you who don't know about it yet, who don't play that frequently, uh, I could let you know about it. So, <clears throat> it's basically where you play... Um, at first they made it like you, you basically play objectively, right? So... It's a mix of sabotage, search and destroy, and juggernauts. Because okay, watch this. This is how it works, and this is a game of MITD, Money in the Tank, by the way. Um, so basically, there's a bomb in the middle, like in sabotage. You have to get it and plant it, you know. And the other team has to defuse it. So it's just like sabotage. The differences are when you get the bomb, you become juggernaut. So it requires you to play as a team so this game I was playing with like three or four uh, people I know I was gonna say buddies but that sounds weird so yeah so I was playing with like three or four buddies I know and but he's ah, no and we basically we played as a team you know even though we lost I think we lost this game it was still fun because we played as a team and going 10 and 40 in this game mode is more fun than going 40 and 10 in domination believe it or not because this game mode just i don't know just because you work as oh look at that nice double nade kill because you work as a team you're going objective the entire time and you're not the only one going objective it's more fun you know so yeah this is MITD money in the dank and I'm just gonna like uh, yeah so why is it a mix of search you might ask well if it goes into overtime which you could see on the bottom left it's like eight minutes left right let me see seven minutes and a half left if it goes into overtime uh, basically it turns into search but whoever gets the bomb still becomes juggernaut so it's kind of unfair I think I'd rather have it without the jug because then you know whoever whatever team gets the jug basically wins but you know whatever another thing uh, let's say like right here I'm trying to help a teammate I'm supporting a teammate that's trying to plant the bomb and he dies like right before planning and I get a nice like, five piece and it looks like auto aim auto aim how nice I shot that oh I feel so proud of myself but yeah, the score. I started to like the Kimbo Scorpions more now. I never used them ever before, but they're they're very interesting, especially in a game mode. Oh, I forgot to mention it. The create a class. They give you default create a class um, stuff. And here I pick up the bomb and become Juggernaut. And I'm really sucky with the Juggernaut. Anyway, um, they give you create uh the M4. Uh, I believe the L1, uh, I don't know which sniper, I don't remember, I don't use it. They give you a spat, uh, maybe a spat, they give you a shotgun, they give you an MP5, and that's it, I think. So, it's it's not, there are no Type 95s, no ACRs, no MP7s, no P9, yeah, P90 is pretty good gun. But it's it's all fairly good guns, so it's fair. So when you're attacking the juggernaut and juggernaut and you're doing it as a team, uh, it's easier to take them down. Like they took me down easily two times in a row, even though I was just standing there, you know. And here I passed the guy like a retard. Um, but yeah, that's basically the game mode. It's pretty fun, and I just it's so fun to get people because they're so they're not expecting it. So basically, this is one of the first times I played it. Uh, it's on Arcaden. I later on I do almost get a Moab from not playing as objective, and I die from a from a guy like I just I got unlucky. Um, also, there are no death streaks, so 
I think bringing in new game modes, Modern Warfare 3 is trying to make it a more interesting game because they know that a lot of people do not support this game, that they would rather play Black Ops than this game. So they're trying to add new game modes and new things that would make it more team oriented and more uh, like no death streaks, you know, and team oriented. It's things that people want. Although it's not helping them much, it is pretty fun. Now the problem is, I I played this today and I've I played this beforehand as well. Although it is fun, if you don't play with the team, you're bound to die because a lot of guys just go, um, they just go ham with the juggernaut. They just stay, and especially in C Town, they stay in the house and they get Moabs easy. At least one out of every like two games you play of MITD, at least one person will get a Moab. So. Yeah, if you want to play with a team, th that's like the best way to do it. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's basically this new game mode. It's pretty cool, pretty fun. And now, uh, another topic I wanted to talk about today was school. I know that sounds weird, but everyone goes to school, so uh, yeah. Well, not everyone, but whatever. Uh, so basically, about school, uh, just some things I hate about school, you know, teachers is one thing. You, you could hate a, a subject because of a teacher, right? And you could hate a teacher because of a subject or how they grade you. But in my case, I hate a teacher because of their grading policies. Because, okay, this teacher, he, he grades... He basically gives everyone uh, 9 out of 10 for homework. And you would think, oh, that's good, you know. That's 90% out of 100. That's how they, he calculates it. And homework is worth like 25% of the grade, you know. That seems fair. Participation. He asks two questions a day. If you answer one question, you basically you don't get full participation. And it's stupid because if you answer 50% of the time, you would think to get full credit when only... Three, three to four people are answering questions in this class, and, and then the people that talk twenty four seven in this class, you know, get um, full credit. So I think that's a flawed system he has. I don't think he's a bad guy. I just think, oh, I just want ham. I just did amazing. I'm so proud of myself. But you guys could see, right? I'm playing objective the entire time anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. So th this teacher is just pisses me off. And also on the report card, like the first marking period, marking period is a uh, period of six weeks, six weeks in our school, and then they grade you. Uh, and they grade you the first marking period with letter grades like A, B, C, D, F. There's no E. So F is a fail. C is 75. Uh, D is like 65, like barely passing. C is 70, 75. B is 80, 85. A is 90 and up. Up till 100. So that's just for the first six weeks. Then they grade differently. But whatever. So he gives me a B. I have him for two classes. He gives me a B for film. And I'm like, why did you give it a B to me? Like, I gave in all my homework. I participated, which I don't even know how to when you're watching a movie. Because film class, you basically watch movies. And he still graded my participation, like, not even well. And I'm like, why'd I get a B? I mean, I'm not mad. It's a good grade, but why not an A? And he's like, oh, you gave him an assignment, um, not through the computer. I'm like, you allowed that? He's like, yeah, but I didn't have enough time to grade it. I'm like, how the hell? I didn't say hell, but I'm like, how, how does it make sense that because I didn't um, hand in an assignment through the internet, uh, I get a lower grade for my average? Like... It lowers my average because you were too lazy to check the handed in homework that was handed in with through print, through paper. So it's not like I handed it in late or it, and it affected my grade by like five points. You know, I had like a 90, 91. It went down to 84 or 85. So it made me go literally from an A to a B. And he's like, don't worry about it. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? I just... That, that's a thing I don't like with teachers. That's one reason I would not like a teacher. Not because of how they 
not because of uh, um, you know 70% great uh, te for tests because that's required for math and science uh, where I live so I understand that even though I don't like it but when a teacher I'm perp like it's the stupidest thing that's that's why I don't like this teacher you know it, it's not for any other reason so yeah that's basically what I wanted to talk about today um, this game mode is long this gameplay is long but yeah this is overtime so the time ran out we almost got to the objective you know and now it's gonna be like a search round and if you notice also um, when someone plants the bomb and let's say the other team defuses it and plants it at the other bomb site the amount of seconds that were left for it to blow up uh, is gonna be the same so let's say I planted it and there's 30 seconds left they defuse it they come to my place they plant it there's still gonna be 30 seconds left and it happened before where there were like two seconds left and we won because of that now here I'm like we need to do um, teamwork here and the whole game I'm shouting out like instructions like to work together and we all are trying to play together but after I died after they get a jog basically that's it it's over and although no one got a moab this game in the later games like a lot of people do um, but yeah that's basically the gameplay here this guy misses his shot completely and that's it so this is X I spawn I die and I'll see you guys later